Your BMW is equipped with a lot of features that can be customized per key to your liking. To adjust these settings in the vehicle, on the main menu, rotate the controller to the right down to settings. Click settings. Some of the features in here that you can adjust, time and date. If we click on that, we're presented with the time. If I need to change the time, I'll simply click time, rotate the controller to adjust the hour. Once I've set the hour, click the controller. Now I'll rotate the controller to adjust the minutes. If I needed to change the time format, I could click time format. If I needed to change the date, I could click date. If I needed to change the date format, I could click date format. Once I've got this set to where I like it, I'll slide it to the left. In the lighting menu, there's several options you can adjust. Pathway lighting allows you to set a time in which your lights can stay on when you exit the vehicle. If we click it, we can rotate the controller to set the designated time for the lights to remain on. Once we turn the vehicle off to activate this feature, all you do is simply pull the turn signal stalk towards you. Triple turn signal, when it's active and has a check in the box, if you lightly tap the turn signal stalk, it'll flash three times and quit. This is helpful when just changing lanes. If you want to deactivate it, simply click it and take the check away. Daytime running lights. If you want your daytime running lights to be on, you'll click it. The check's in the box. That means the lights are on during the day. If we click it and turn it off, the lights are off during the day. For welcome lights, this allows the inside and outside lights to illuminate when you unlock the vehicle so you can see as you approach the vehicle. If your vehicle is equipped with high beam assistant, you'll see this option. Underneath we have door locks. If we click on the door locks, we are given several options here we can adjust for the vehicle as far as locking and unlocking. Unlock button right now is set for all doors. That means when we press the unlock button on the remote, all the doors will unlock. If I click this, we're given an option to change just to have driver's door only unlock the first time we press the unlock button, second time we'll unlock all the doors. Last seat position automatic. This is telling your key to remember the last seat position you drove in. If you didn't want this to happen, simply click it and take the check out of the box. Lock if no door is open. This is if you unlock the vehicle. After two and a half minutes, if you don't open a door to get in, it'll automatically relock the vehicle. To activate this feature, simply click the box. Lock after starting to drive. With this feature active, once you hit five miles an hour, the doors will automatically lock. When you turn the car off, the doors will remain locked. To get out of the vehicle, simply pull the door handle twice to open the door or press the central unlocking button. This will unlock or lock all the doors for you. Acoustic signal for locking and unlocking. This will give you an audible signal when you lock and unlock the car to confirm you did so. Flash when locking and unlocking. This will give you a visual flash of the light when you lock and unlock the car. If you have the optional power tailgate, you'll have tailgate listed at the bottom of the settings screen. By clicking tailgate, you're presented with an icon here, which you can adjust how high the tailgate will raise when you open it. To set this height, simply rotate the controller to the right will lower it, to the left will raise it. 